4G technology is the fourth generation of mobile network technology that provides faster data transfer rates, improved network reliability, and better coverage compared to 3G. Here are some of the key 4G parameters and how they work. Frequency bands, 4G networks operate on various frequency bands ranging from 700 MHz to 2600 MHz. The frequency band used by a particular network depends on the spectrum available in a specific region. Higher frequency bands generally offer higher data transfer rates but have lower coverage and penetration capabilities. Modulation Encoding Scheme, MCS, MCs is a parameter that determines the amount of data that can be transmitted per unit of time over the network. 4G networks use advanced modulation encoding schemes such as QPSK, 16QAM, and 64QAM to increase data transfer rates. Higher MCs values result in higher data transfer rates but require higher signal quality. Carrier aggregation Carrier aggregation is a technique that combines multiple frequency bands to increase network capacity and data transfer rates. 4G networks support up to five component carriers that can be aggregated to form a wider bandwidth channel. Radio access parameters Radio access parameters such as RSRP, reference signal received power, RSRQ, reference signal received quality, and center, signal to interference plus noise ratio determine the quality of the radio signal received by the user equipment. These parameters are used by the network to make decisions on handover, power control, and interference management. Interference management parameters, interference management parameters such as CI, carrier to interference, ratio, sinner, and RSRI, reference signal received interference, determine the level of interference present in the network. These parameters are used by the network to make decisions on interference management techniques such as interference avoidance and interference cancellation. Power control parameters Power control parameters such as maximum transmitted power, minimum received power, and power control step size determine the power levels used by the user equipment to communicate with the network. These parameters are used by the network to manage signal quality and improve network coverage. Handover parameters Handover parameters such as handover hysteresis, time to trigger, and threshold values for maximum transmitted power, minimum received power, and power control step size determine the criteria used by the network to make handover decisions. These parameters are used by the network to optimize handover performance and improve network coverage. To optimize a 4G network, cellular telecommunication companies can adjust these parameters to improve network performance. This includes optimizing the radio access parameters to improve signal quality, adjusting the power control parameters to optimize coverage, optimizing the handover parameters to improve handover performance, and deploying advanced interference management techniques to reduce interference. Additionally, cellular companies can deploy advanced network optimization techniques such as network slicing and dynamic spectrum allocation to make better use of existing network resources and maximize capacity. They can also use advanced network monitoring and optimization tools to analyze network performance data, detect performance issues, and recommend optimization strategies to improve network performance. In summary, understanding and optimizing 4G parameters is essential for delivering high-quality network coverage and connectivity to users. By adjusting these parameters and deploying advanced network optimization techniques, cellular telecommunication companies can improve network performance, and stay competitive in the telecommunications market. 4 grams network problems and how cellular telecommunication companies can optimize them. While 4G technology offers many benefits, it also faces several challenges that can impact network performance. Here are some of the most common 4G network problems and how cellular telecommunication companies can optimize them. Interference. Interference is one of the most significant challenges facing 4G networks. Interference can be caused by a variety of factors, including other nearby networks, electronic devices, and natural obstacles like mountains and trees. To optimize 4G network performance, cellular companies can deploy advanced interference management techniques such as beamforming, antenna diversity, and interference cancellation. These techniques can help to reduce interference and improve network capacity and coverage. Capacity Limitations as more and more devices connect to 4G networks, network capacity can become a significant issue. To optimize 4G network capacity, 
Cellular companies can deploy advanced techniques such as carrier aggregation, network slicing, and dynamic spectrum allocation. These techniques can help to make better use of existing network resources and maximize capacity, allowing more devices to connect to the network without impacting performance. Congestion Congestion occurs when too many devices are trying to connect to a network at the same time, leading to slow data transfer rates and poor network performance. To optimize 4G network performance in congested areas, cellular companies can deploy advanced congestion management techniques such as load balancing, traffic shaping, and admission control. These techniques can help to manage network traffic and prevent congestion from impacting network performance. Coverage limitations While 4G networks offer better coverage than 3G networks, they still face coverage limitations in some areas. To optimize 4G network coverage, cellular companies can deploy advanced coverage optimization techniques such as cell site optimization, signal boosting, and network planning. These techniques can help to improve coverage in areas with poor signal strength and provide better network connectivity to users. Power consumption One of the challenges facing 4G devices is high power consumption, which can lead to reduced battery life and increased device heat. To optimize 4G device performance, cellular companies can deploy advanced power management techniques such as power saving modes, adaptive power control, and device throttling. These techniques can help to reduce power consumption and extend device battery life, improving the user experience. In addition to these specific challenges, cellular telecommunication companies can also optimize 4G network performance by using advanced network monitoring and optimization tools. These tools can provide real-time network performance data, allowing companies to identify performance issues quickly and optimize network parameters to improve performance. In conclusion, While 4G technology offers many benefits, it also faces several challenges that can impact network performance. By deploying advanced optimization techniques, including interference management, capacity optimization, congestion management, coverage optimization, and power management, cellular telecommunication companies can optimize 4G network performance and deliver better network connectivity and user experience. Sure, here are some details on solutions for 4G network problems. Interference One solution for interference is beamforming. Beamforming involves using advanced antenna technology to focus a signal in a particular direction, which helps to reduce interference from other sources. Another solution is antenna diversity, which involves using multiple antennas to improve signal quality and reduce interference. Finally, interference cancellation can be used which involves canceling out interference signals by using advanced signal processing techniques. Capacity limitations, carrier aggregation can be used as a solution to capacity limitations. Carrier aggregation involves combining multiple carriers to increase bandwidth and capacity. Network slicing can also be used, which involves partitioning the network into virtual slices to allocate network resources more efficiently. Dynamic spectrum allocation can also be used, which involves using advanced algorithms to allocate spectrum dynamically based on demand. Congestion, load balancing can be used to manage network traffic and prevent congestion. Load balancing involves distributing network traffic across multiple network nodes to ensure that no single node is overloaded. Traffic shaping can also be used, which involves prioritizing network traffic based on importance to ensure that critical applications receive sufficient bandwidth. Admission control can also be used, which involves controlling access to the network based on network capacity to prevent overload. Coverage limitations, cell site optimization can be used to optimize coverage by adjusting the placement and configuration of cell sites. Signal boosting can also be used, which involves using amplifiers or repeaters to increase signal strength in areas with poor coverage. Network planning can also be used, which involves using advanced algorithms and simulation tools to optimize network coverage and capacity. Power consumption, power saving modes can be used to reduce power consumption by putting the device into a low power state when not in use. Adaptive power control can also be used, which involves adjusting transmit power based on the quality of the network signal to reduce power consumption. Device throttling can also be used, which involves limiting the device's performance to reduce power consumption and heat generation. 
Overall, cellular telecommunication companies can also use advanced network monitoring and optimization tools to optimize 4G network performance. These tools can provide real-time network performance data, allowing companies to identify performance issues quickly and optimize network parameters to improve performance. By using a combination of these solutions, cellular telecommunication companies can optimize 4G network performance and deliver better network connectivity and user experience.